Welcome. So what I'd like to do here is show you how to find the smallest positive and negative coterminal angles. And I'm going to work through 7 pi over 11. So to be able to um, you know, find the coterminal angles, what we're trying to do again is being able to identify an angle, the smallest positive and smallest negative, that have the exact same initial and terminal side. So the, the basic kind of algebraic you know, method of looking at that is 7 pi over 11. That's going to be kind of difficult uh, to look at as far as where exactly that is. But pretty much if I could take half a circle, which would be you know, pi, and break that up into 11s, I don't even want to do that. It's going to take more time, and I'm probably going to make, not even make it in that clear. Um, actually, well, let's just say. OK. So anyway, 7 pi over 11, that's roughly going to be somewhere like here. All right, so we have an angle right there. Again, if I want to find my coterminal angles, I want to find the largest positive. That means I'm going to have to add 2 pi. And the smallest negative, meaning I'm going to have to subtract 2 pi. So algebraically, if I, to find the smallest and largest coterminal angles of this angle, all I'm going to have to do is add 2 pi and then subtract 2 pi. So the first thing I need to do is I need to make sure they have common denominators. And these both have denominators of 1. So to do that, I'm going to multiply here by 11 over 11, and this one by 11 over 11. Therefore, now what I have is 7 pi over 11 plus 22 pi over 11. And then over here, I have 7 pi over 11 minus 22 pi over 11. Therefore, going simplifying these, the two answers I'll have is 29 pi over 11 and uh, negative, so theta equals and theta equals negative 11 pi, or sorry, negative 15 pi over 11. So there you go, ladies and gentlemen. That is how you find two coterminal angles. Thanks.